Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. I might also want to say welcome back if you watch the part 1 or the more theoretical and maths and rhythm heavy and ear training part of this binary rhythm counting strategy. So in that lesson we looked at what are all the options for a beat of music when you divide by 2 when you divide by 3 which are triplets and when you divide by 4 pretty much everything grouped together quite well with notation with uh, trivial stuff with groovy options and i mentioned in that video that we need to do some exercises so now we are here to do some exercises and if you haven't already do consider watching part 1 and coming to this video that will be very useful and you could also download every single exercise and all the conceptual notes all of the notation which have been hand written by yours truly waiting for you on our patreon page that will also support our channel a great deal and before we start it'll be awesome if you could subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking so the first set of exercises for you are super easy exercises using eighth notes so the one you see there is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 3 and 4 and you see there's a division of the 1 at the 3 and the 4 but there's no division at 2 so let's do that again with clapping first clap with me 1 and 2 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 3 and 4 and you could also whack a note on the piano just to give yourself more reassurance i'm taking d which is a nice note maybe f c be a combo there we go or maybe a chord 1 and 2 3 maybe more chords and i try to play a pulse in my left hand if i am playing the rhythm pattern in the right hand so melodically you can do stuff on the piano starting with a simple note harmonically you can do a lot of stuff on the piano starting from a single chord and then going to an entire chord progression Rhythm pattern number 2 is also very very easy we have four quavers beamed together spelling out two beats in a bar so that will be 1 and 2 and and then the 3 4 will be 3 4 where you need to count the division in your head so 1 and 2 and 3 4 okay 1 and 2 and 3 4 there we go 1 and 2 and 3 4 and that will be rhythm pattern number 2 Let's try a little bit on the keys. Two and two. Rhythm pattern number three, which would be a crotchet at beat one, and then two quavers at beat two, two quavers at beat three, and a follow-up crotchet at beat four. That'll be. Let's clap it. There we go. Doop ta 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 ta. Doop ta 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 ta. Doop. I'll be clapping it. So playing some, playing something on the piano. Now let's get a bit fancy with rhythm pattern number four, which is two quavers beam together in beat one, two quavers beam together in beat two. Then in beat three we have a rest and then a quaver. So that'll be and then beat four a simple crotchet. So da 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 one and two and three. You don't play at three, so you could even lift your hand away. 
1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Just to kind of make it obvious at 3. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Okay, hope you were able to do that. Now rhythm pattern number five, which is going to be the lazy one because it has a quarter note rest right there. So let's get it over and done with. That will be one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and... You can also sing the rhythm pattern, which I'm going to show you for the next one in the set, which will be ta da 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 da. You can also make up some random syllables with your mouth, which is dum da 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 dum da 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 dum da da di. Something, some nonsense, whatever you wish, really, because that'll. The, the difference of syllable will make it more obvious for your brain to capture the music. So you can also sing a tune. You can make up a song possibly You can put some words to it That'll be cool Share it with me in the comments if you wish Moving forward now I'm going to give you more sophisticated rhythms Because I've decided to add in dots and ties So dots and ties will give you Sort of the next league of rhythm reading if you will So let's look at a few of those First off we have a dotted crotchet Or a dotted quarter note Followed by an eighth note So that will be one and two and At the end of the two One and two and three Four One and two and three Four, one and two and three, four. There we go. One and and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, then we have a rather simple one, but there's a tie there. So that'll be one, two, three, and four. So you're actually targeting the end of the three, but there's a tie on the two. It extends the note, the sound of the note extends to the on of the three, and then you have the offbeat at the end of the three. So. Bum, bum, tero, tum, like this one I think you're making a song with this that'll be cool then we have ta da 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 ta ta da 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 tau because there's a tie there so you need to hold that down ta da two and three and four. You don't hit the four. Watch out. There's a tie there. So this is actually confusing even me as I'm doing this with you. Da, 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 dao. 
वन एंड टू एंड थ्री एंड फोर वन एंड टू एंड थ्री एंड फोर एंड वन एंड टू एंड थ्री एंड सो विद द रेस्ट Okay, then the next one is rather simple. You have one, two, three, and four. 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 Okay, two, three, and four. nicely with chords and then the next one has a ni- a good old minim a friend of ours who's long forgotten because we are getting into all the in between ones so that goes da 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 1 and 2 3 4 and 1 and 2 3 so let's put that on the piano okay make sure 2 and 3 are lingered lingered on and a couple of two bar phrases for you we've been doing one one bar all this time we are going to get incrementally complex as we go along in this tutorial so might as well start off with two bars so that will go ta da ta da tan tan ta da ta ta so let's clap that out one and two and three and four and one and two and and four and there we go Let's do that again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Again, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Pum 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 pum. Pum 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 two and three and four and wait and two and dun dun. try and get something going on the piano it's important to get the vibe of it first so keep fooling around try clapping try doing various things and let's see Or just do the first bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Dun 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 da da. Bum 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 bum. You get the idea. Let's do the last eighth note rhythm with a two-bar phrase now, which would be one and two and three and four and one and two two. You have to hit the two there, but you tie. to the next bars one let me do that ag- again a l- little slowly one and two and three and four and wait two three four and one and two and three and four and wait two hold four and let's try it on the piano and three and four and wait two hold four and one two and three and four and two three four and one and two and three and four and one and two oh, uh, four and one it's a bit 
tricky to get that four end. Do you get the right? So that pretty much covers eighth notes or quavers, and. I don't want to leave it at that. I want to now move into the next time division. Two raise to three triplets gives us eight permutations to play around with. All the permutations were covered in the previous video. The link is in the description. Do watch that as well. And uh, let's get some simple combos going of all those patterns. I'm going to first look at all the trivials and put them together real quick. So the first one is quarter, quarter, triplet, quarter. Eighth note triplet combo of three and quarter. That'll go first of all for triplets. How do we count? One and a two and a three and a four and a tuck it, a tuck it, a three. Let's get that into our system for a couple of minutes, maybe a couple of seconds rather. Three and a four and a one and a two and a so first one. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. One, you can even do note, note, arpeggio, note, 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 arpeggio, note, note, note. Dun, 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 dun. So whenever you have the fast stuff, do a arpeggio, and whenever you have the slow stuff, do a note. So tanka ta tanka ta tum bum, tanka ta tanka ta tum. Second one. Second one for you. Then we have triple it, triple it, nothing swing. Triple it, triple it, nothing swing. So I'm saying it sounds rather cool actually. Triple it, triple it, nothing swing. Ta 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 ta. Pum 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 pum. Tin 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 tin. Don't forget the rest. Next one, swing triplet, crotchet crotchet, rather easy. Dun ta ta da da da, dun ta ta da 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 da, dun ta da 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 da, dun ta 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 ta da 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 da. Jam with it and come up with something. For you to understand any concept in music, what I tend to tell myself is, you need to compose something using that. You need to put your stamp of authority on the concept, if you will. So, try to put it into practice. Try and make something out of it. Otherwise, you're just going to read from a book, which hopefully this lesson is not, because you're reading it and you're actually doing it with me. I hope you're doing it with me. If not, do it. And then moving forward to the next one, which I call Roadhouse Blues, which is. There we go. So that's swing, 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 triple it, swing, 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 triple it, swing, 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 triple it, bang, two, three, triple it, off. And last but not least, we have a super easy one, which is a minim. Our friend returns. One, two, three, e, e, four, o, o, one. Just to show you the difference in speeds. One, two, three, e, e, four, o, o. You could even count it like that, actually. One, two, three, e, e, four, o, o, one, two, three, triplet, four, triplet. That's an, a bit annoying. So one, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, three, e, e, four, o, o. Makes a bit more sense for me. So. Da there we go.
And now I have a combo of exercises where we combine the grooviness with the trivialness, where we take some of the trivial triplet patterns and the groovy ones, which are the the ones which are a bit more off the beat and don't are not the mundane ones. So the first one you see there is a quite an Indian one actually. And a good strategy while watching this video could be to pause just before I play it, you know, because if I play it, you'll digest the sound and maybe you won't focus on reading. I also want you to improve your reading skills through this video. So let's do this rhythm now. <laughs> Covering a lot of genres in this video. Okay, the next one. Triple it swing. That's at the O. Uh, one end, one end. The next one will have a crotchet, a swing, and then 110, the binary permutation, and then back to crotchets. Let's get that going. Quite inspiring, this rhythm. Okay, next one would be one one zero one one zero, and then we leave the one. We we leave the on beat. You can always release from this by playing some trivials. Triple it, triple it, triple it, crotch it, and the end. Last triplet rhythm for this exercise series would be swing, then a very Indian one, which is one. And and not the uh, and then the same Indian and then the same Indian one again to follow. So Right, so there's so many permutations out there and for you folks who've listened to some of the South Asian music, the Indian folk stuff, some Sri Lankan stuff, some Pakistani folk music as well, you'll realize that this triplet movement is very common even in the Middle Eastern genres or music, music from Turkey, you'll find this very often, this very triplet, it's a very Eastern concept, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. So practice triplets well and have fun while doing it. So lastly in this exercise series, I would like to now move to semi-quavers. The one anders where you divide by four, you have 16 permutations, some of which are trivial, some of which are groovy, and we need to put them together in a nice structured stepwise manner. So let's now move forward to semi-quavers, probably after catching some breath.
let's move forward so the first semi quaver rhythm you see there is crotchet semi quaver semi quaver quaver two quavers and naturally four semi quavers will be beamed into one beat of music and all of the exercises given for you or printed for you are on 44 just for us to focus on one time signature but in theory what you learn from this could apply to any time signature so just knock off a beat becomes 3 4 or waltz add a beat it becomes 5 4 so let's get down with that rhythm tang tag dig tag dig ta tum tao tag dig mi tak dig mi tak tao tak dig mi tak dig mi tak tao i like to say that sometimes it kono kol ta for no division tak for dividing by 2 tak dig mi for dividing by 4 and takita for dividing by 3 so ta tak dig mi tak dig mi tak ta tak dig mi tak dig mi tak ta tak dig mi tak dig mi tak ta tak dig mi tak junu tak ta Now, if you—that's already given you the music in your head, I presume. So, okay. The next one would be, tak 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 dimita, tak 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 dimita, tak tak. That's how you count it. Quaver, quaver, semi quaver, crotch. Quaver, quaver, semi quaver, quarter. Quaver, quaver, semi quaver, pulse. Like that, okay? Ah. Something like that. That's what I want to play on that rhythm. Then the next one would be semi quaver, semi quaver, quaver, pulse. Semi quaver, semi quaver, quaver. That's taka dimi, taka dimi, taka ta. Tu ru 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 tu tu. Tu ru 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 tu tu. Something like that. The next one is rather tricky. That would be a dotted crotchet followed by a quaver, then a quaver rest and a quaver. So let's first figure that out. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. E and a. So four e and a would end up being very fast. So let's slow this down and let's clap that together. I think let's get back to clapping. One and two and three and four e and a one and two and three and four e and a one and two and and four e and a one and two and and there we go. That's the rhythm. And the last rhythm in this set would be one and two and three e and a four. Super easy. Just with that quaver rest. Tang tang chak tam para para ba. Let's fool around on the piano. Something like ah, nice. La la re ru 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 ru, tum pum tum pum tum tum tum. to make a note very quick note is the rests are not necessarily for you to actually play or actually observe if you want to hold on the previous note and tie it no problem it's just a visual convenience i would say so you can do whatever you want when there's a rest you can have the old note coming into the rest point or you can just rest it so if you tie the old note if you rest the rest as it's printed sounds good what we'll do now to conclude our lesson is i have a few more groovy exercises in the 16th note domain and let's combine the groovy with the trivials the first one you have there are two gallops 
two quavers and a crotchet. That will be tung tugga dung tugga duck tung tau. Tung tugga dum tugga duck tuck tau. Tum tubba dum tubba dub tup tau. Tum tubba dum tubba dub tup tau. There we go. Then the next rhythm pattern which you see there is tak tak tagada off takademi tak takita off takademi tak all in the, that's not a triplet that's one e and without the uh tang tang tagadam off tagadaga tam tam tagadam off tagadaga off then the next one you see there would be tang tagadaga tadak ta off tang tagadaga tadak ta off tang tag tag ta dak tak off tang tag tag ta dak ta off there we go let's put that on the piano that'll sound nice or let's sing that that'll be fun Then there's a rest at the four. Don't forget that. I may have forgotten that a couple of times, uh, but let's observe that now. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. snapping at the four makes it a bit easy for me and groovy also. and so on and so forth now the next one you see there is a very salsa ish rhythm that goes tang tak tang tang tak de tum tak tum tum tak de tum 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 tak de tang 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 ta da 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 It's also a nice strategy to use these rhythmic devices as I call them to just spend half an hour on the piano and create music see where you can go see what are your options melodically harmonically rhythmically or just cause some chaos with all this stuff you never know what will happen what music you could compose so be aware of this entire lesson not only getting you to be able to read and clap out this stuff but also it can inspire you to compose music and also have a very fun music practice while ticking all the boxes for that music practice who who doesn't want that so the last one for this lesson is super easy tang tang tap tap one e and a two e and a three e and that just pushes you to get the e's and the r's one e and a two e and a three e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a there we go I've showed you a few options on the piano. I haven't delved into it in great detail. Uh, that was not the point of this video. It was just to clap, read, sing, be inspired, hopefully, and understand the logic and how beats are divided. And hopefully, a few of these which you may have tried in your own time, maybe you were struggling with it, or maybe you thought it was wrong. You were a bit here and there. Hopefully, this lesson clarifies that. 
I hope I could have given more options really. Maybe I'll do a part 2 of this particular exercise series, who knows. If you think so, do leave that suggestion in the comments or anything you'd like to do or learn in the field of rhythm, do suggest that in the comments as well. And you can connect with me on Patreon with any of our tiers, especially the 15 and 30 dollar tiers. Uh the 5 dollar one gets you all these notes by the way, MIDI files, backing tracks and my handwritten notes for, for almost all the lessons however if you want to share your exercises with me and get me to you know listen to them uh, and give you some comments or some feedback it'll be nice to hear from you it'll be nice to see you and chat with you so do consider heading over to patreon and i can catch you guys there and again thanks a ton for watching the video if possible do consider heading over to the part 1 if you haven't watched that before we call it part 1 where that is more descriptive and more theoretical right guys thanks a ton for watching the video see you in the next one cheers